How do you make a square in Photoshop? Well, a square is a rectangle, so we're going to use the rectangle tool. You can find that in your toolbar. Click and hold if you don't see it, and make sure you select rectangle tool. Now, to create this square, first off, we're going to have a fill and a stroke on our square. In the shape properties, or the dialog window for this tool up here, we have a fill and a stroke. The stroke is the outline around the square. The fill is the color of the square itself. So we're going to create a black square. Click and drag to start creating a rectangle and hold shift to make it a square. So that makes it a perfect square and when we let go, we can see in our properties panel over here that it's 601 pixels by 601 pixels. We could link these together and make this square whatever size we want. Maybe we want it to be 750 by 750. Because they're linked, they're both going to change when I press return. And so now we have a 750 by 750 square. We can click on the move tool and move this square around easily. We can also press command or control T to transform this square. Now, we may or may not need to hold shift to keep it proportional. Looks like I don't need to. So if I were to hold shift, it might skew it. So just check, do I hold shift or not to make sure it's proportional when you're scaling it up and down if you want that perfect square. Now, when we have this square selected, you might notice our transform properties aren't over here anymore. We can't see anything except for the appearance. That's because the transform property only shows up when you have the shape tool selected. So when the shape tool is selected, you can make these adjustments. If just the move tool is selected and our square layer is selected in our layers panel, we can adjust the appearance if we scroll down on our properties. Now we can make these different sizes here. So I could pull this whole panel down so we can see it all. But we have the fill here, so we could change that if we wanted to. We also have the stroke here. Like I said, that's an outline around your square. So we can click that, we'll make it black. We can select the stroke size. So we can scale that up if we want it, just so we can see that stroke. We can also select inside, outside, or middle alignment of the stroke. You can see how that changes where that stroke aligns based on the edge of the square. You can select a few different corner radiuses here. You can select whether or not it's a dotted line around your square or solid. And then you can also select the corner radius of your actual square here. So if you wanted a rounded square, you could put in 15 points or 15 pixels and that will round off the edges. You can increase that more or less if you want to. Now, if you don't want to fill at all, you can click on fill and click on this slash icon. So now our square is a rounded square that's just the outline. And you might also notice that the rounded corners here, rounded edges don't represent in the middle. You can just tweak your inside outside alignment here to get those to line up a little bit better if you'd like. If we go toward the inside, it rounds the inside corner, etc. So just by aligning that stroke, it'll change the way that the edges look. I like lining it up to the outside because now the inside and outside are rounded. But that's how to create a square here in Photoshop and how to adjust the properties and appearance and transformation of your square.